Gwinnett police are searching for a suspect wanted in a violent road rage shooting. A gunman opened fire on a vehicle along Gateway Drive off Peachtree Industrial Boulevard following a minor fender bender. Fox Eyes Deidre Dukes is live from the crime scene and Deidre, you talked to the victim. What did they tell you? That's right, Christine, and that shooting happened here in this industrial park. The victim telling me that he started following the gunman after the gunman failed to stop following a minor fender bender. But he said at some point in this industrial park, that gunman pulled a gun on him and opened fire. Flock cameras captured the unidentified suspect bailing out of a vehicle moments after opening fire on Jaleel Ali's car along Gateway Drive near Norcross. I'm traumatized behind this. The only thing I can think about is those gun, dodging those gunshots, you know, being there for my daughter. Ali tells Fox 5 he began following the shooter after a black Chevy Malibu the gunman was riding in rear-ended the victim's car at the intersection of Amweiler Road and Buford Highway and drove off at around 5.30 the evening of March 18th. It just happened so fast, man, and I, I didn't think that those people would do that. You know, it wasn't nothing but a little fender bender. Ali said he followed the suspect's vehicle for about four miles to try to get a tag number and was on the phone with 911 when the gunman pointed a Glock out the window and shot at him. And, you know, they just started letting shots off, man. It was over, over about 10, 10 shots, six to, six to 10 shots. Responding officers discovered the suspect vehicle abandoned on Jones Mill Road near the intersection of Bay Circle, less than a mile from the scene of the shooting. Flock cameras revealed the suspect had jumped out of the moving car and fled on foot. What, what initially could have been just a minor traffic accident turned into a potential aggravated assault when somebody's you know, pulling a gun and, and firing rounds at another occupant of another vehicle. Gwinnett police released these images Tuesday and hope someone will recognize the gunman and call police. This is wild. This is the wildest thing I've ever seen in my life, yo. And while Ali was not injured, he told me that his car was struck by gunfire and is inoperable. Anyone with information in this case is urged to contact Gwinnett Police. In Gwinnett County, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks so much, Deidre.